Right, now we're going to have a look at the while loop. Now I've kept the same project open as in the for loop and if you haven't got this code you can actually just go quickly through the for loop tutorial. Now, very briefly, a while loop has got some advantages over a for loop. For example, a for loop has to be prefixed, i.e. for count equals 1 to 5 in this case. It will only repeat 5 times. So, and you can't change that. Or a good, unless you actually change the variable count, which then gets quite complicated. So you don't want to do that when it comes to for loops. For loops are for specific numbers when you actually know how many times you want to loop. Now a while loop, and also a repeat loop, which we're going to learn about later, doesn't have a specific ending. You can actually quit the loop whenever you want, which adds to um, a great extra bit of um, advantage, like if you're doing a calculator and you want to add an unknown amount of numbers. So that's what we're going to do. Now here we've got four count equals one to five do. Now I'm going to have another variable and call it count two. And I'm going to set this as an integer. Now here where we have four count, I'm going to go while so while count is less than I don't um count to. Or actually I'll put ten. So while count is less than 10, do. And then this time, I'm going to have to manually make count, um, add 1 onto count. So count becomes count plus 1, like that. So I have to manually add to count. And now, this will rep repeat 10 times. So the total 0. Now you see, here, the total equals 0. Why is that? Because we haven't set count to zero or to whatever we want it to set it to be. So I'm going to set count to equal one like that. And there you go. Enter num one. So fifty, forty, whatever, and you'll see that after you've entered all the numbers it'll get up to nine and then it will give you the total. The reason being as soon as it's less than ten it will um, finish the loop. If you wanted it to equal ten as well it'd have to be less than or equal. And then maybe you want to um, be able to just input what you want to do the loop up to, that's why the count up to variables there. You just do something like write al write ln enter the number of numbers you have, something simple, and then read ln count to. And then instead of 10, put in count to, like that. Enter the number uh, the number of numbers you have, something like I've got four numbers. Enter number one, fifty, forty, three hundred, whatever. Just a four, and it gives you the total. Now that is the difference of loops. So that was the while loop. Now in the next one we'll have a look at the repeat loop, which is personally my favourite loop, and um, you you should actually like that loop as well.